What I found was making especially the geometric shapes, the rectangles and the squares, is that they frame the environment much like a picture frame. The luminous light from the neon, it pulls things forward and moves things back. So very cool, yeah. yeah and yeah. I love, it looks like there is, there are portals to other places. I'm Kelsey Fernkoff and we're at Pilchuck Glass School. I'm installing 12 neon tube installations and I'm doing a neon demo for Light the Forest. It's wonderful to see just artistic expression through this medium. Because we see neon signs so often and I feel like it just gets taken for granted. I'm a longtime neon fanatic and to see all of this neon set up in nature kind of blew my mind. I've never seen anything like it before. It was really interesting to see how he used the neon to activate different spaces mm -hmm. with the piece on the water. The piece that's over at the lodge, capturing of oh, the, yeah. the sunset. Oh, that's and that's just like iconic. Yeah. That is yeah. like money shot as far as I'm it concerned. Is. I think the favorite was the red rod inside the old concrete cabin. Something about just this like structure in the middle of the wilderness with this like light refracting through the windows. It was just like very arresting. For somebody who lives in Seattle, it was just so nice to get out of the city and really get to experience something like this out here where it's like quiet and you can see the stars. And it's a, an awesome place I hope I get to return to. The setting is pretty magical and then to bring in some light like this, it magnifies Hillchuck. Pilchuck is the number one leading glass school in the world and to be invited here is a great honor and I hope they'll have me back. Go Kelsey, we love you. Go, go, go Kelsey. Kelsey. Go on. <laughs> That's it. Cut. <laughs>